This stunningly otherworldly plant found me when it was only a single leaf unrooted cutting. I stumbled upon this species at a rare plant shop called Botanicas. I didn't know much at all about begonias at the time. I mainly collected aeroids and hoyas. But this shimmery, pink-spotted, iridescent, velvety leaf just called to me. I decided to try my hand at a whole new genus of plants, and I'm so incredibly glad that I did, as she quickly became one of my most coveted plant friends. This rare variety of angel wing begonias from Sabah, Malaysia, on the island of Borneo, is often found growing on damp rock faces of massive caves on the island. These glittery leaf plants require high humidity, 60% or more, and partial sun. Now living in dry Colorado, it was a mission of mine to make sure that I gave this single leaf everything that it needed to thrive. I didn't want this stunning beauty to get crispy edges due to the dry climate. And with this being my very first high humidity plant, I planned a makeshift terrarium once she rooted. Surprisingly, my lone leaf rooted in water in just a few short weeks, much like a fast-rooting philodendron cutting. I transferred her into a three-inch succulent pot with nothing but sphagnum moss as the media. I used a cheap, straight body, wide mouth glass vase turned upside down over the cutting to create a high humidity environment and placed her in indirect sunlight about 10 feet away from a west-facing window. This made a perfect tiny ecosystem for my Malacostica, and I really just left her alone after that. At this point, she was zero maintenance, and since the humidity kept the moss moist enough that I didn't even need to water her for weeks at a time. It took only a couple weeks to sprout her second leaf, and then she grew a new leaf every one to two weeks after that. Within about two months, the plant outgrew the pot, the media, and the makeshift 12-inch tall terrarium. I transferred the plant into a six-inch pot with fast-draining soil, perlite mix, and some sphagnum moss around the base. I didn't find a vase or a terrarium that was large enough to comfortably fit this fast-growing species, so I got creative again and I lined the bottom of a large glass salad bowl that I didn't use very often with rocks. I set the pot on top of the rocks and filled the bowl with water just below the edge of the pot saucer to create a constant evaporation humidity. This time I placed her in direct sunlight of the same west-facing window. I had hoped that all of these massive changes would be acceptable to her. I had gotten her this far, and it would have been so devastating to see her go downhill. So I had thought that this plant was such an incredibly fast grower in her previous terrarium setup, but I would say that the growth rate doubled once I repotted and moved her into direct sunlight. I couldn't even keep up with her growth. Right now, she has 14 growth points. I feel like I have a personal connection with all 150 or so of my plants, especially the ones that I root myself. I know some of my plant-loving friends out there can relate. But I've always felt a very special affinity to this particular one. My one lone begonia. Just the other night, I had a very vivid dream that she gave me a single beautiful bloom. Having never seen a bloom, even on a Google search from the Malacostica, I had no idea what to expect if and when she finally did bloom. Much to my complete surprise, the morning that I woke after the dream, I turned her around to find a single bloom hiding window side atop this strange triangular shaped pod. It was nearly identical to my dream, and I could also see another one forming down the stem. 
Her first bloom happened around six months after the cutting rooted. As one of my most stunning and unusual plants, she still is my one and only begonia. Though once the weather turns warmer for plant mail, I am so excited to explore more varieties of this incredible genus. If you also live in a dry climate like me, please do not discount these amazing tropical and subtropical plants. It's pretty simple to create a lush environment with very little money or time. I wish that I had had more confidence in creating a conducive, high humidity environment for them so that I could have experienced these kinds of stunning plants earlier. If you are able to find a Malacostica cutting, please do not hesitate for a moment to grab it. She will absolutely enchant you at first sight. <laughs>